okay this problem is related to Grignard Dirac reagent so 9.36 this is a pretty easy problem so question says draw the organic product you would expect to isolate from the following reaction after hydrolysis so the part 1a you have you have a Grignard reagent this MZBR MZDR and if this reacts with CH2O so you have COH H what will be the product in this case and you have to write down the product after hydrolysis so in all cases what we are going to discuss you have to write down the product after hydrolysis so what will the product after hydrolysis you will get something and you then do hydrolysis so let me see how many of you are able to do this one easy one you have to treat this as a nucleophile so I think all of you have done this one so if you do this one here you have minus this is a carbonyl now if you let us take so this is a Grignard reagent everybody knows this delta plus and this delta minus so this will act as a nucleophile now this nucleophile can attack on this carbon carbon so this attacks here this goes here so if you follow these steps so you will have this and then this carbon you will have CO minus hydrogen hydrogen now question says what will the final product after hydrolysis that means you have to react with H3O plus so O minus will convert it into OH so you will have this product CH2OH are you getting so final product you have to write after hydrolysis now similarly B part you have so B part C is you have this MZCL now here you have MZCL that is again Grignard reason if this reacts with this compound what will be the product uh, let us say this compound basically in question there is one more uh, something like this yeah so what will the final product after hydrolysis just write down easy one everybody can write okay so in this case again you have a carbon and here minus charge so this will attack on this carbon this opens up so you, you think what will happen you will have five five member ring here you have so let us make a five member ring something like this and this will have c o minus and there is a ch3 and then this side you have one two three carbon so ch2 ch2 ch3 so this side you will this and if you do hydrolysis you will have CHOH so let me write after hydrolysis you will have you have a 5 member ring and COH CH3 and then I will have 1 2 3 carbon are you getting if you want you can show in the bond line diagram also you can always show in the in terms of bond line so if you want to write bond line diagram it will look something like this so you have a OH group here so let us put uh, OH so let me put one OH so I 1 2 3 4 carbon 1 2 1 2 3 4 carbon 1 2 3 4 carbon I have here I have one OH and one CH3 so let us put OH and one CH3 so this is in terms of bond line diagram I can show you the same thing in terms of bond line diagram I think you have copied this one if you have copied this one then let us discuss the next part part C uh, this is again easy one these are Grignard reagent reactions so if you have CS3 CH MZI MZI and then here you have CS3 if you treat with PHCHO so you have pH, pH, CHO, so COH. What will the product after hydrolysis? Once again, you have a negative charge there. So this will attack, this opens up, and after hydrolysis, now you know the product. So let me write the final product after hydrolysis. So you are adding as 3 plus also. 
So if I write final product after hydrolysis, I will write something like this. CH3 is here. Hydrogen is here. And now I will have COH. H. PH. Are you getting? So this is the final product after hydrolysis. So here you will have OH. This is not PH. Of course, this is OH. Are you getting? So this is OH because you will have O minus. Finally, this takes H plus. So you will have OH. So CH3C, CH3C, H. PHOH. Are you getting? I think all of you can write this one. Then we'll discuss the next problem. Okay, let us discuss the next one. So again, from the Grignard reagent, you have, I think you have copied this one. 